Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, Halal Family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to one of uh, Sheikh Imran uh, Hussein's uh, videos This video was suggested by Info Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestions Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with a video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're gonna get started with our video. Example, Allah had prohibited riba, borrowing and lending money on interest, riba. But if you go to the Torah today, you'll see the Torah says, that it is haram for an Israelite to lend money on interest to his brother Israelite. A Jew should not lend to a Jew on interest. No. Haram. But it is halal. He can lend money on interest to those who are not Jews. No. That's wrong. You've made halal what Allah made haram. And the rabbis accepted it, and the people followed the rabbis. I lived in New York for 10 years, I know. So what they did was to make haram what Allah made haram, halal. In order for them to institute a monetary system which will prohibit the use of gold and silver as money, they needed big walls. And they needed to win the war. And that is the First and Second World War. And a new monetary system came to the world after the Second World War. That monetary system has been with us since then, 1944. But I have news for you tonight. There's another war coming. And it's just around the corner. And when that war comes, they're going to finish this monetary system. They don't need it anymore. And they'll bring a new one. But the Mufti doesn't know that. Who gives his bogus fatwa. That the money we're now using is halal. Mufti, are you listening to me? Mufti, you're going to have to answer in the grave, Mufti. For declaring this money to be halal. No. This money was possible because they first declared that money to be haram. The Articles of Agreement of the International Monetary Fund prohibit the use of gold as money. Dr. Mahathir was not aware of that. I am not a politician. I don't comment on politics but when someone does what is right I declare that he was he did what is right and I don't care who who is annoyed with me a scholar of Islam doesn't bow his head before public opinion Dr. Mahathir was not aware that the International Monetary Fund prohibited the use of gold as money. But Dr. Mahathir was able to recognize, as no one else recognized, that this was wrong. That this was wrong. That you cannot prohibit the use of gold as money. And Dr. Mahathir did what no one else did in the history of this country. Let me remind the Malaysian people if they need to be reminded that Dr. Mahathir did what no one else did ever be, ever did and perhaps no one else will ever do when I met him I told him that I said you are the second one to do it the first was General Charles de Gaulle General Charles de Gaulle recognized that this was wrong this was unjust bringing a new monetary system in the world 
And in order for this bogus system to survive, you have to prohibit the use of gold as money. So Charles de Gaulle stood up in the French National Assembly in 1966. That's why the French people love Charles de Gaulle. And he blasted them. In the French National Assembly, he blasted them. And he declared this to be an unjust monetary system that you brought into the world. And so they took out their knives for him. Yeah. And they finished him. And after Dr. Ma after Charles de Gaulle, the only other one, the only other one was Dr. Mahathir. And so this country should be proud of Dr. Mahathir. Because he recognized what no one else recognized. And no one else dares to recognize. They don't have the courage to recognize what he recognized. And tonight I have to give credit where credit is due, regardless of the price I have to pay. At the time when I said that Dr. Mahathir was only the second, I was wrong. I didn't know he was the third. I didn't know that there was one before him. I didn't know that there was one before Charles de Gaulle. But he's today forgotten. They called him a playboy. <laughs> Ahmad Sokano was more than a playboy. Ahmad Sokano was more than a playboy. When Indonesia became independent, Ahmad Sokano called in the Olana. He had the courage to do it. And he asked them about this money. I'm not a scholar of Islam, you are the scholar. Tell me, how can we have paper as money? How can we have paper as money? And the ulama replied to him and said to him, the paper would be halal only if it is redeemable in gold. Meaning you could take the paper and get the gold at a fixed rate. So the paper will be like a check. So Ahmad Sokano decided that the Indonesian rupiah would be redeemable in gold. And he fixed the rate. But the people who want to rule the world, they had made that haram. In the Articles of Agreement of the International Monetary Fund. So they had to launch a coup via a crooked man called Suharto to get rid of Sukarno. So there were three. Wow, subhanAllah. You know, I, I love Sheikh uh, Imran Hussein. I listen to his uh, lectures uh, and his talks. It, it's beautiful. He has some uh, really, really interesting uh, speeches and he kind of makes you think outside of the box, which I really, really enjoy. And this was nice. This was actually really, really ed educational to understand how the uh, International Monetary Fund came into play and at the same time, who were the players who basically disagreed with the policy. So thank you very much, guys, for suggesting it. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like me to react to another video, please put in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.